Well, the hallway is definitely looking a lot brighter already. And I finished washing the ceiling yesterday. And I've just started doing this one this morning. And you can see where I've done one half and not the other how bad it is. Although it's not coming off um, too badly. Although I'm not looking forward to getting all of this flaky paint off of this woodwork, or this plaster work. It's really not a nice job. And also this really grubby wall. Anyway, one stage at a time. I'm not happy with the way the ceiling was washed. Um, it didn't get all the mildew spots off. So I'm putting a coat of damp seal on it. You can see I've done half the ceiling already there. Uh, this is what I'm using. Damp seal. Permanently covers household stains and damp and also mildew blocks and um, stains. And that should be dry within four hours. And uh, we'll see how it looks then. Well, back in the hallway, as you can see, Carol's painted this section white. We're not going with white because it, but, um, it was good to see it brighten up. But one thing for me, it threw up straight away. As soon as I saw it, I thought hospital corridor waiting area. I just, it just clinical. It just didn't work for me. So the reason I've put white up is I've got a sample of paint that I want to try. And if I like it, I'm going to get Adrian to get it because he's got to go back to England. He might as well pick up the paint there because it is so much cheaper. I will give you a quick glimpse of it. So I do it from here, if you can see it. I'm not sure the uh, ladder's in the way, it's better. And then I'll come closer because it totally changed when I came up to it like that. So I've already got a tester pot of this. So I'm going to put on this. Well, see how far it goes anyway. Yeah. And then I will hang some fabric up that I've got for curtains just to see if I like it or not. Okay. You made a comment I heard you say earlier about the original paintwork not covering. So... Is that what you were talking about on the ceilings earlier? Yeah, so it's definitely oil based on the ceiling and the woodwork up there because you can see the drip marks on here that the emulsion is not covering. Ah, the drip marks on the ceiling Even when they do. Even though that's been sanded, right? lightly sanded, you can see that the emulsion is not going to cover that paint. Oh, well spotted. So. Yeah, hey, let's get some colour on the wall. Hi. Hello. I'm preparing. No, you're not. You're making horrible scratching noises. I know. Uh, I <laughs> thought these were wood. No, they're plaster, aren't they? Yeah, but can you see the brown underneath? You would think it's wood, but no, they're plaster, you're right. Yeah, I think a lot of this in here is plaster. Come down here. Come down there. And the only reason I know that is where I put the sensor in for that chandelier. I had to drill that in, that was all plaster. So those arches are also plaster. You didn't know that either, did you? Oh, some of the trimmers are, because they're nailed in. Down the bottom? Yeah. Those up there, up yeah. top, that's plaster. All plaster. Yeah. That's plaster. But oh. I've, I've got all that paint off of there. So you're well and truly plastered. I'm well and truly getting on with that. <laughs> Good for you. No, I'm not doing too bad actually. I'd say you do brilliant because um, it's really they're starting to bright in here, isn't it? And it's not a particularly a bright day today, so yeah. um, do you know what? A bit more cleaning, we'll leave it. <laughs> you are leaving. <laughs> but the ceiling where you cleaned it, you said to me once, can you see the difference? Massively now. Cup date on the hallway. I've given the ceiling and the coving its base coat of white. It is actually sticking to the satin that was below. I did a test overnight, so that pleased me. It is a bit patchy. I have been interrupted more times than I can count today um, by various people and deliveries, but we're still getting on. And let me show you above here. You can see where I've done half of it, or more than half of it. We've got the stain block that's on the left and the first coat of emulsion on the right. 
but just bear in mind that this won't be staying white it is just a base coat but as you can see it's clearly brightening it up so much and even by taking down the curtains it's let an awful lot more light in So I'm just up at the orchard taking a break from decorating and I thought I'd get the onion sets in. I'm putting red onions in to begin with. Now last year I had them scattered in a pattern, a diamond pattern, and they looked really messy and anyone who knows me really well knows I don't like a mess. Um, so this year I'm going to put them in straight lines. I'm using a chisel as a marker, a spacer and my dibber. 25 centimetres apart, 15 centimetres deep. Now Adrian's not here, so my little help is around somewhere. He might make an appearance quite soon. Now you can see over here, potatoes. They are not actually the ones that Adrian planted with Zach. They are self-seeded from last year's. Now I don't know if they're going to come to anything very much, but I'm going to leave them and see what happens. I knew he'd appear soon. There he is, my little helper. They're so friendly robins, aren't they? So that's the onions in red ones. I've started preparing this bed here and that will be this year's tomatoes. The bed over here that was last year's tomatoes we've rotated and this year I've put flower seeds in. I've just scattered those down so whether they'll come to anything I really don't know. Over here all the strawberries are flowered so I've covered those up. And there's a lot of weeding to go and carry on here. And the two piles at the back are the ivy that we took off the walls. Now Adrian's van is finally back on the road. Yeah, hey, which means we can get rid of all this because we're not allowed to burn it being in the middle of the village. So that can be all be cleared up and we can plant in there. Maybe not till next year though. Need some work on those beds. This is Adrian's potato bed over here. He only got two and a half rows in apparently. Oh, started to come up already, look. That will please him. He got so far and then had to have some downtime. But that's the joy about doing the garden. We can take it at our own leisure. Is the raspberries. I think they're actually autumn raspberries, although they have got some buds on them now. And the rhubarb that's growing a plant in the middle. And this is where we should put the cucumber this year. There he is again. So I'm back in the UK uh, doing a few things at uh, work, just catching up again. Thought I'd bring them back, the bug they gave me last time I was here two weeks ago. But I'm gonna surprise Carol uh, when I get back. Now, we came here with Beth, and it's Culinary Concepts in Hook, Hampshire. And uh, I don't know if you remember one of the earlier videos, she saw the Godfather, the, the horse's head. 
that was in the corner of this room here and I know she loved it we didn't buy it um, but I think she regrets that so I'm actually gonna come and see them now and uh, hope it's still on the shelf all right so let's uh, if I remember it was in the corner yes and I think that's exactly she wants she wants to go with the with the navy shade the gold horse I know she was on about maybe silver, she, that, that really works for us, so uh, let's see if we can get that boxed up. But mum's a word, no telling Carol. Well that's a relief, I'm back on the ferry on the way back to join Carol. Uh, maybe I'd better do some work, as she's been so busy in the uh, hallway while I've been over here in the UK. Um, but what a gorgeous day to come over. So uh, I hope she likes what I'm bringing back for her. Well, back from the UK now. Got back in late last night and uh, just offloaded all sorts of things for Carol. See if she can guess exactly what they are. Um, speak of the devil, literally. Can you Hello. Say, is it bright enough for you? The first thing I said to you when I came in last night, even though it was pitch black, you could see them. When that chandelier went on, in fact, I'll just scroll it up. When the chandelier goes on, which is on a sensor, the whole ceiling lit up. I was, yeah, very impressed. And that's just an undercoat primer so far. That being the sensor. Well done, darling. Maybe I should go away more often. No, don't do that. You didn't like it, did you? No. Oh dear. But at least you bought me back presents. So I we brought you back loads. On the conveyor belt today. So what's on the conveyor belt? Yes. This is paint for the walls. In here? Yes. Secret, or you gonna let one know, or we'll come back to that? No secret. <laughs> um, that's obviously yours. What's that for then? Rechem. So, yes. Rechem. That's uh, resin, for resin anchors. That's so I can start the balustrade. I've already got the bars. We are hoping very shortly to get the balustrades done on the terrace so that we can enjoy coffees mm. and teas out there with friends so. and champagne. Oh, um, sugar some. soap. Um, as it says on the box. This is a powder form because they'd run out of liquid, but this is what I've been using to clean the walls. And that might Tetrion. Tetrion sugar soap. Like right. I said, I usually buy the liquid, but it's sold out, so we've gone for powder this time. Thank Batteries. I'll show you what those are. That's uh, Adrian bought me a really nice present. You Actually, knew. What I really want is for him to come home, but he did buy me a present as well. But we'll open that up later. Okay. My trusty leather jacket I left behind. Adrian's bought himself a Vata Vata. No, that's for you. Oh, okay. It's your it's your allotment. <laughs> it's actually I thought. Your also, potatoes. How about for your mum? But less less work there than that. It's they, an electric one. They must be bolster cushions because they're the the new inserts for the salon that I'll be making. Ooh. Um, oh, more undercoat and primer for the ceiling. Yep. That I'm guessing is my hair straightener cable because that blew up. You're good at this game, aren't you? <gasps> that I'll come back to. Oh look. Flameless candles, that's what the batteries are for, for the sconces in the salon. We'll get those up in a minute. Are they Wi-Fi? Can we turn them yes. on? Yes. Brilliant. Start you, easy start. They call it easy cool. start. Now, when I went in the store, they knew what I was talking about. Adrian sprayed this on his van, well, the equivalent, and it started just like that. So there's a sensor in the van stopping it starting, uh, which I've managed to sort out, so they mobilise it. So I had my good friend Wayne over, so we tried a trick which he's had before years ago on one of his, and we got the we full started the van which overrode the sensors. So from <coughs> now on, easy start, turn the key. Tester pots that I bought for the woodwork, but love the colours on the floor. Not quite sure if they're going to be right. Two shades but, though, wasn't it? Yeah, they're twice the price here in France. Is that that's the National Trust one, isn't it? Um, no, this is Little Green. I have no that idea what Trust? that's for. What's that? That. The clamps, so that when we, now the water, well it hasn't got warmer yet, but when the world, weather gets warmer, we'll start taking the doors off and we start squaring them up, etc. so I need that clamp. Nothing ever gonna be square in this place. No, I know, I know. It's all bent and straight. Um, well, let's just leave it then. <laughs> um, door bar for my carpet in my vanity room, thank you. Yeah. That doesn't look right. No, it's the only one I could get, and it actually does, no, because it's a Z form, it will flatten. Say so, and obviously conduits because you've got to start doing all the electrics out here. I need to clean it all up correctly. Yes, yes. Yes. 
But what I'm really excited about getting, and this is for me personally, is... I thought you were excited about me coming home. Yes, I am, darling. <laughs> Last year when I was up making all the mouldings in the salon, one fell down and it smashed my, my, my necklace. And nobody would touch it because it's so delicate. It's taken me a year to find someone to put that back together. You were in tears over this, weren't you? Because oh, you've had this a long again. time. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know what the interesting thing is? The lady that repaired it in England, um, I'm trying to think, Froxfield in Hampshire, actually watches the YouTube channel as well. So she sends her compliments. I'll leave my glasses on, but yeah. Let me um... get my pendant back on. Oh. Right, so, so a lot of stuff came back, which is good, means we can get on with a lot of jobs. Um, I will be explaining the hallway floor shortly, uh, but let's, uh, let's go and have a coffee. So we're back in the salon having a lot of coffee, as we try to do most mornings, with the, actually with the fire lit. But even forget the heat, it's a lovely sort of uh, setting. What you got there, darling? It's my birthday. No. No. <laughs> You may remember when I was back in England a few weeks ago that I saw something in a shop and I thought, oh, that looked nice in the hallway. Well, this is what Ava went out and bought me. Yeah, I did try to keep it a secret, but you guessed as soon as you saw it. Although the, um, pi the picture on the side of the box doesn't help. Oh, okay. No, no, not that one, the other one. From Culinary, culinary Concepts in London, we have... They're not in da -da -da. London. A white box inside another box. Great. Good game again. No, oh, no, thank you. That is it. Oh, great. <sighs> okay. Scissors. <Watch> video. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? Unfortunately, I'd shown all the viewers earlier. <laughs> I told them all, I said, look, keep this a secret. <laughs> I, I went back to get that on the secret. Of course, you saw the box there this morning and knew exactly what it was. I'm just going to rip it open. Rip it open. So, I, I actually, I was going to hide it underneath your, on your pillow of your bed, as you kindly made me a funny bed. Obviously, it's not going in here. It is for, I imagined it, in the hallway. God, it would look nice in here, though, wouldn't it? Well, there we go. Except, as you can see from the shade, it's faulty. The the stand that holds the light fitting for the bulb is bent, so unfortunately, it has got to go back. But we'll get another one, and we'll show you it turned on. Well, that's uh, with the, we haven't taken the foil off, but the gold inside, isn't it? Inside the. Uh, Actual yeah, lamp I think, shade. I think it's the gold inside the shade that actually really makes it. It does, it looks stunning, doesn't it? Like so I said, don't be alarmed, everyone, it's not staying in here, it is for the hallway down by the stairs. The little cozy corner. It is, although it does look bloody good in there, <laughs> but it will look even better in the hallway. 